The emotion is obvious. The pain is real. Uh, you hear sirens behind us. This is the new normal in Paris right now. I'm joined by Senator Nathalie Goulet. Thank you for being with us Thank once you. again. And again, you know uh, that the world is with you here right now. The deeper question for you is, what will be the new normal? You've been very outspoken about this. There's a unique balance of security and liberty in France. Is it time for a new normal in terms of the aggression and tactics against potential terror? Well, you know, we have a regulation enough to fight. Um, we have a strong will. I have no doubt about the will of the president, prime minister, of minister of interior. What we need is a lot of money and more staff, more police, more intelligence, more cooperation. That is really uh, very necessary. And then um, we are now facing a state of emergency, as you know, and uh, which is very unique in our uh, life. We also will have uh, election under a state of emergency, and that creates uh, a lot of interrogation for us. We're told that the state of emergency will last at least three months uh, to after take you through Christmas. the holidays after Christmas. Uh, you haven't had one, as you mentioned, since the North African war situation here in this country. So it is a new normal for oh, people. Yes. But the question is, is, is it justified? Is it justified to extend even beyond that? First, let's talk about the risk. France is uniquely vulnerable by geography, by population, and by disposition. We know that ISIS has named France as a main target. Why do you believe that there are so many more potential jihadis here than in other European countries? First, we have a lot of uh, French foreign fighters. And, uh, and why, do you think? Well, because we have, uh, you know, we do not recognize communitarism in this country. We have also this um, a clerical, like laicity regulation, which means that we probably miss integration. You and miss integration. What yes, does that mean? We mean integration of a part of the Muslim community. We miss their integration. So a part of them do not recognize the uh, French Republic. They, there is a breach uh, of the um, um, citizen link. There is something, you know, we are talking about redrawing the passport of the citizenship, but they don't care because they don't feel citizen at all. And then with those French foreign fighters, when they are back, they are trained, their mind is set uh, to fight against the Republic. So it's very, very dangerous. You know, we have almost more than 7,000 um, um, people under survey for radicalization. It's a lot. Now, you know members of your military and your police forces believe that they need more tools legally, that they want to be able to detain people more like what they did overnight here, taking 23 into custody, 104 under house arrest. They believe that the balance of security and liberty has to change. Do you think there's the political will, even after what happened here recently, to change that? I think we have to be very careful as the French system is with the balance between security and, uh, and uh, liberty. What I think is that they need more money, they need more tools, that is for sure. But um, what, we, what they need, it's also more cooperation and more understanding. You know, the, we need more staff. Uh, we cannot put somebody behind any people on the survey on the way of radicalism. It's too much. It's too much. We, we just cannot do that. But at the same time, what we miss, it's some tools for intelligence services. We need more databases. We need to be able to cross the data, which is forbidden. But we never know. We don't, we, we, we don't want any Guantanamo things. We don't want any emergency regulation uh, regarding the um, uh, civil uh, situation. But every time something like this happens, and hopefully it's very rare, but as we all know, the practicality is it can happen. The needle moves a little bit and people become a little bit more aware but, of it. But, you know, we, I think it's, it's one word that uh, uh, nobody pronounces right now. It's prevention. We also have to prevent, because you can put any criminal regulation you want with the money. Mm -hmm. I, Let's think that you have the money and the regulation and staff enough. Okay, let's put that on the side. If you don't solve the, the prevention, if you don't prevent the people to go on the verge of radicalization, it's not useful because you will feed the connection, you will feed the network. So what we need absolutely is to prevent. We need to have a big cooperation with the Muslim community so they help 
the government, they had the police, they had administration, they had civil servants to prevent the youth people to go on the verge of radicalization. And that is much more difficult than even fighting against the actual Oh, it's a full life. And then we also have to face that many governments the last 10 years have been cutting right. the budget for army, for police all the time. Even Nicolas Sarkozy, who is now yelling to have more budget and say he was the first to cut to, it. To cut it. Right. So we, we have to face this situation and, and that will be not that will not be solved in one day. Senator Natalie Goulet, thank you for best. being with us. You, you, you. you did more than well enough. Thank you for being with us. Okay. Uh, Let's